Hello! Today is February 29th, 2016. I want to enjoy this leap day with you. Let's get started. Hey guys, my name is David Prater. decked out, ready to go work out. If this is your first time watching this channel, don't worry, I'm not a fitness vlogger. The gym is not my domain. I feel weird. Let's go get clean. See, I really don't like to have a whole lot of hair on my face. That's why I shave. Also why my girlfriend doesn't have a beard. It's really bright. Uh, I'm about to head outside though. I'm going to go meet my friend down at the bus station and we're going to go into London together. We're meeting up to go find an art gallery for a class project, so wish us luck. So we made it out to where the art gallery is supposed to be. Looks pretty cool down here. Not a bad area to be for leap day. <laughs> this is actually the furthest west I've been in the city. We're in a different zone than I've ever been, which means I'm paying more money than I've ever paid. My friend and I broke off back at King's Cross, which means I got onto a different line and I came to a place that I've wanted to get back to for a very long time. Covent Garden, it's an amazing place, really cool. In my first video here a few years ago, one of my favorite parts of being in London was meeting a couple of strangers while eating down at this pie shop right there. I didn't feel like some tourist anymore, even though I definitely am and I definitely was then. And so when I said I want to get back to London, I knew that this is the kind of stuff I wanted to do. I wanted to go find a new place and sit in the coffee shop and explore the area and just immerse myself in it. I'm not trying to become incultured or anything. I'm not trying to become a Londoner. I'm trying to become the American that I already am, but very comfortable in London. And I think that's an important distinction to make. At the end of the day, I've lived 20 years in America. That's not going to change. But when I first came here, I thought that my one goal here was just to adapt myself to a different culture. And I realize now that's not true. My goal here is to prove to myself that I can enjoy a new culture. I can pick up pieces, but I can also keep what is already mine. In my What's on my iPhone video, I talked about my background on my phone and how it's been there for three years. So I want to go down to that area and see it with my eyes in person. Another important distinction that I had to make introspectively, like within myself, regarding coming down this time versus coming down three years ago, is that three years ago, I was surrounded by a lot of other Americans. And coming here was really just like going to America, but in London. And the more I walk around and just like sit in places, the more I realize that the biggest reason, like one of the biggest things that I wanted to do was just eat at every single place that I saw without having to worry about a chaperone seeing me eat there. And now I'm realizing that would make me very poor and very fast. So it's a different game entirely. Sometimes I actually forget that I am in England. I will wake up in the middle of the night and hear people screaming outside my window and I'm like, whoa, British people moved here? That's kind of crazy. Just because I'm around Americans and other international students most of the time. There 
there's some realizations that I'm having that kind of make me a little upset, a little sad, and I want to share those with you. One of my favorite memories of being in London, some friends of mine and I, we broke away from the rest of the crowd. We were not allowed to leave the hotel, but we did anyway. And we went to this fish and chip shop right across the street. We got fish and chips takeaway, and it was amazing. And I was just so enthralled and so ecstatic that I got to eat fish and chips in London. At the time, I thought that was a very local place, a very chic, cool place. And now being here and seeing a chip shop on every single corner, the novelty starts to wear off a little bit. And when that happens, it's kind of saddening. I recognize the value. I recognize the excitement that I had, and I appreciate that. I'm glad I felt that. But now seeing that it's something that isn't completely unavoidable, it's very possible to find one of those on every corner, it makes me want to experience even more. So in that way, it's a good thing. But what do you do? What, what was life like here back before you could go on to BuzzFeed and learn about the cheapest places to eat? What was life like back before you could see the coolest restaurants to go to or the coolest free things to do? And ideally, that's how we should all experience a city that we're living in for an extended period of time, right? Don't get me wrong. There's a time to be a tourist. And oftentimes the time to be a tourist is when you don't have an extended time somewhere. So for example, when I was in Scotland, I definitely should have taken advantage of the fact that I was only there for three days and done very Scottish things. And I should have gone to the places that tourists frequent rather than trying to become encultured over the course of a weekend. But somewhere like London, somewhere that I am living pretty much 20 minutes from whatever this is a place that i should be exploring deeper i should be going into the depths of it and i think that's an important lesson for a lot of people when you should be a tourist be a tourist and love that experience enjoy that but if you have an opportunity to start to break away from the traditional beaten paths do that as well wow this is a great video down the river right now which is pretty it's a pretty view and I'm seeing all these benches right outside and I'm seeing people individually just stare off into the river and I feel like that's what comedians are supposed to do to get inspiration for new material or something or like aspiring authors are out here just sitting waiting for some stroke of genius to come pop out of the river at their faces. That's what I should be doing. I should just stop and I should just sit down somewhere, but I have a goal. Now I do, I did it before. I'm glad I figured out what my goal is. Right now I'm down in a pretty historic area. We've got the Globe Theater here, as well as the Millennial Bridge and St. Paul's Cathedral back there. And this is an area that I've been quite a bit. Twice, actually, not that much. The first time was three years ago, the first night that I was here, and all of the footage got erased from my phone somehow. It all got deleted. The second time, I wanted to enjoy it for myself. And the third time, right now, I wanted to share it with you. And I'm glad I can do that. I'm glad we can do this together. It's kind of cool. And I think more than anything else that I will experience while I'm down here, this shot right here, this angle that I found, this is going to be a highlight of my experience here. In the video where I showed you the background of my phone, here it is again. I said that this angle right here has been on the lock screen of my phone for the past three years. So every time I open my phone to check anything at all, I was always greeted with this view. And I really didn't know anything more than that. I didn't know where the location was. I just knew that I saw the tower bridge in the background and some really cool buildings in front of it. And so finding it, being here right now, being in this moment, it feels pretty amazing. Once you see something long enough, you think that it's fake, you think that it doesn't really exist in the real world. And when you realize that it does, it's one of the most amazing feelings. So I challenge you to do that. I urge you to do the same thing. Think of a location that you love or that you think you might love and then find a picture on Google of that location, set it as your lock screen on your phone and see if one day you don't end up there. Maybe this is some woo woo nonsense, but I think just the daily exposure to it says something. I'm not sure why it still but something. I'm glad we got to experience that together. That's pretty cool. I had a recommendation on YouTube. Somebody recommended that I try uh, bangers and mash, which is, that makes sense because it's a local dish that I've not yet had. And I've been showing that I like to appreciate culture through food. So I'm going to do just that. I found this place that on Monday night, they have five pound banger and mash specials. So I'm going to go there called the Bridge Lounge. Let's check it out.
amazing meal that was. Wow. The succulent Cumberland pork sausage. The mashed potatoes underneath surrounded in a pool of beautiful onion gravy. A fantastic way to end my leap day 2016, which I'm glad you got to enjoy with me. I figured it's probably for the best to end the video here rather than making you suffer through another tube ride, another train ride, and then end it in Hatfield. It's not fun. So let's end it in London where the bulk of the day existed. If you like this video, of course, click the like button. Let me know that you like these kinds of videos so I keep making them. As well, if you have any suggestions, the channel's growing quickly, so I want to be able to give back to you in a way that makes sense based on your suggestions. With all of that, everything that's happened today, you saw every single piece of it, except for what happens later but that's kind of boring with it though i'm gonna go so yeah bye